climbing a tree. Hi folks, Shane Toms here from Fantastic Sport Fishing. Just going to show you a product that's available for uh, anyone that's setting up their boat for trolling. In particular, trolling with planer boards and planer board lines and rods and having some rod storage in the boat. Probably not unlike yourself, I have a open style boat, a, bo a boat that probably could use a little bit more rod storage up and out of the way. Certainly not something laying on the floor that you can step on and whatnot. So there has been this, you know, this, this very, this interest or popularity in rod trees, this kind of apparatus that would sit on the gunnel of your boat and hold the rods that you're fishing with. Typically, they have two three or even four rod holders in one line, kind of like this line, uh, together to hold up your rods and, and you would fish with your planer boards, something like an inline planer board like this. Inline planer boards have been very, very popular over the recent years, but uh, rod trees like this, they certainly help with being able to um, get those rods up off the boat's gunnel out of the way of and higher than the diver rods and downrigger rods that would be behind. This has a base that could slide into a track and it also has this opportunity to pick up the whole unit while that's in its track, pick it up and turn it so that the rods are facing more inside the boat. Stuff. back into place. Now one of the things about this particular unit that I really like is that it also has the opportunity to store rods. So if you notice the angle of this rod which is rod holder, rod holder is at about 45 degrees. Meanwhile these ones are at more about 20 degrees. Uh, they're at a, a very steep angle uh, in, in comparison to the, the actual rod tree trunk if you will. These ones here are more used for storing your rods and because we won't be fishing with them and this would be the rod tree that would be on the port side of the boat. So if you're in the boat, you're near the bow, I'm looking out at the stern of the boat. This is your port side and these rods would be facing towards you, towards the bow. Okay, note those would be your storage rods. Meanwhile, these rod holders on the on the outside of the boat would be those that are fishing the planer boards. So they're nice and separate, and they also give you that added uh, two or even three rods, because you can stick one right up on the very top of the tree as well, uh, to store those additional rods. We always need that extra storage. So you can mimic this very same setup on the other side, on the starboard side, a, a mirror image of what we got here. The greatest advantage about this particular model, this is a rod tree model that is uh, available um, at Grinsby Tackle, and they're all modular. All of these pieces slide into this bar, okay? So for an example, it has a, an inside diameter that will slide onto the bar and fit itself in its particular location. And then you tighten them down. Now, some of them have knobs, and some of them have these replacement Allen key set screws, which are wonderful and, and they, they, they're really a nice clean image um, of your rod tree. So I really like them, brushed, brushed uh, uh, aluminum finish, very, very nice. Um, that's really kind of the, uh, the essence of these, these trees is that they're fully adjustable. I mean, you can turn these to any particular way you want. If you like them to be those rods that you're fishing with like to be more in line with one another, uh, you can adjust it. You can just simply unscrew these, uh, loosen them off, turn the rod tree, the, the sorry, the rod holder, uh, so that they're all in line or whatever angle that you wish. Um, one of the benefits that I perf prefer is this very bottom rod holder here on the tree. When I'm salmon fishing, I really like a shoot, dive, a sh shoot rod that is a, a copper rod. Uh, so copper copper line running out the straight out the back of the boat, but obviously having a rod in the middle of the boat or uh, in the way of other things 
uh, can be a bit of a distraction. So what we'll do is we'll we'll run that copper rod rod in this very bottom rod holder. So that's why it's tipped in a little bit further. It's not necessarily angled out at 90 degrees from your gunnel. It's instead turned in almost about a 45, if you will. And it gives you that flexibility. Again, adjust it. If you're not doing that and you want this turned out a little bit more for inline planer boards for walleye, loosen those Allen C-set screws and turn that rod holders just slightly on axis and you're ready to go. So that is uh, one, of the, one of the rod trees that I wanted to give you a, a, a good look at. And uh, like I said, the craftsmanship on this, the, the welds, it's, it's just gorgeous work uh, done by a fellow in Stony Creek and in Welland. So really like, uh, like seeing this rod. This is my second year of running this uh, particular rod tree and I really like it. So take a look at them at Grinsby Tackle and uh, yeah. If you're looking for a set, grab yourself these because they're nice.